Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up guys? It's Tuesday and it's Brock and we got another All About today. Today we're going to learn about the Spanish hogfish. Let's get started. Prices on these guys, you'll spend about 40 bucks on them. Tank size, by the end of his life, or by the end of him getting to adult size, you'll want 150 gallon. But normally whenever you get them, they're only a couple inches long. So, you know, just have a decent sized tank. And then as he gets bigger, upgrade your tanks. Care level, super easy. Temper, he is an aggressive fish. Watch out for that. Reef, he is whenever he's small, but once they get to adult size, they tend to be more like a predatory fish. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, your DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, they say they can get to 10 inches. Hogfish are big. They get really big. You can look pictures up online. They are a big fish. Colors, you'll see that nice purple and yellow on them. Diet, they are carnivore. Whenever, uh, even at their smallest age, you can see them picking at like clams on a half shell and like little pieces of shrimp. But, you know, they'll eat, also eat like pellets, flakes, mice, little cubes, stuff like that. Compatibility, you know, just ask me, let me know. Uh, normally, I people don't pair them up, but you could try it, I guess. Normally, I wouldn't pair it up with the same species, maybe like a Spanish and a peppermint, but most of the time, it doesn't work out. Origin, these guys are from the Caribbean, and really, that's all you need to know about them. Just remember that this guy turns into a predator fish whenever it gets bigger. So any corals and stuff that he hasn't messed with as a little guy, I mean, it can totally change whenever he gets bigger. So watch out for that. But a great fish to have, really active, always stays out, but can be aggressive towards other weaker fish because it does get very territorial. But that's it for the Spanish hogfish. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe and check me back for Thursday with a new episode. I'll see you all later.